back with O'Shea Brissett, and the first thing he said when he walked over to the set, meeting us all for the first time, by the way, he said, we're going to flip this, and I'm going to ask you guys questions. Yeah, yeah, I got He's got stuff. his camera over here. Yeah, that's cool. If, you've been, you've had this all day. Yeah, no, I'm just, you know, getting some content around. Can we know? get a plug? Brissy Files? Yeah, that's it. And, Let's uh, go. On YouTube. On Instagram. Um, Damn, what is my YouTube? Brissy TV on YouTube. Check me out. <laughs> you should know that. Yeah, I should know that. Just, <laughs> right. It's for you guys. All right, questions. Let's go. Um, okay, so when you're when you're going to the basket, do you like to kick to the corner, or are you more of a I'm a finish at the rim type of guy? I'm, I, I know for me, I'm definitely not finishing because okay. I don't have the height. Mm -hmm. I don't have the strength. I got to kick it to someone else to okay. finish it. Yeah, I hear that. So that, that's just me, Eddie. Depending on what's going on. I mean, I can't just be predetermined, to okay. be honest with you. See, that's I get to the back, right I'm finish, I'm going to finish. Uh -huh. If I got to pull up, I'm pull up. But if I ain't got nothing yet, then I'm going to kick it. Okay. But I'm looking to get a bucket, man. I, I played in high, I was too short, so I would just. No, just let, me make a, yeah. let me tell you a little story about Amanda <laughs> I knew Fugate. My, we had I our, knew my fate. We had our media <laughs> game a few years back uh -huh. at the Auerbeck Center, yeah. and she drained one in my face. Nice. It was like to, to end a quarter, I think, right? Awesome. To beat the buzzer, drained it right in we my face. We have the video somewhere. We got to find Find we're no, playing let's real not. defense. Let's not find <laughs> was yes. you playing real defense, or oh, was you on, just Eddie. let her shoot? Come no, on, don't no, do no, me like, like that. You know, some people yeah, be like, crazy. "I just let her shoot." No, I was, I was playing real defense. Oh, wait, thanks, this, thank yeah, you. I'll pay I you was. later. Where the J is at? <laughs> <laughs> give me so you give us a where the J. <laughs> so O'Shea, uh, first media day with the Celtics. Or do, yep. you, do you still want to ask questions? No, no, no I'm good. Yeah, That's all I want to know. I want to know. Try to get your player profile. All right, all right. It's not good. I'll tell you that. Scouting report's not good. First media day with the Celtics. Yeah. What's it been like so far? What are your expectations heading into tomorrow? Uh, it's been fun. It's been really fun. Um, you know, it's, it's media day, taking pictures, doing all that stuff. I always say media day is like a ball handling workout. You know, when you do all that stuff, you're just dribbling for 10 minutes, whatever, yeah. just, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. But it's fun. You know, I'm excited. Putting my jersey on is crazy. You know, going to my locker and seeing the, the jersey was a surreal moment, um, especially because it's Boston, know how much history is in this team. And now to have my name on a jersey, uh, it's crazy. What made you choose number 12? Um, so, honestly, my first year coming to the NBA, I was always number 11. From like high school, college, I was number 11. Um, but I was in Exhibit 10 for Toronto, so I was really like trying out for the team. They asked me what number I wanted, I said 11. But there was a guy who was also in Exhibit 10 coming in, but he had more years in the NBA. Mm. So they gave him 11 because he wanted 11. Okay. Um, so I just tried to go one up, get 12. Okay. Yeah. And you had to carry it over here. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. Maybe for those that aren't familiar as much with you, how would you describe your, your overall style of play and what can you bring this team? Uh, for me, I feel like I'm a little bit of everything. You know, I could be um, – really key on the defense, do a lot on offense. Um, that's kind of how I pride myself, just doing a little bit of everything. Um, I try not to just be, you know, one trick pony, which sounds crazy basketball because, you know, we play offense and defense. But I just feel like there's a lot of guys out there that really stick to just one thing. But for me, I like to expand and just learn. And, you know, this is an opportunity for me to um, expand as well because we have guys who are, you know, really amazing on offense. So playing off of them is going to be really fun. Um, and just you get a lot spots. of open looks. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure, 100. percent Yeah, focus on them. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those guys. I'll be, I'll be standing over there waiting for my shot. How excited are you about this season? I mean, especially with all the moves that have been made. Christoph Porzingis coming in. Mm -hmm. Also, yesterday the news dropping that Drew Holiday has been traded for. Uh, how excited about this opportunity. The window is open mm -hmm. right now, and it's just a matter of are we going to get in it or not. So how excited are you about go, trying to get through that window? I'm really excited. You know, ever since I found out this is where I was going to be, I was, you know, looking forward to the season. Just playing, um, getting back in the NBA groove. You know, summer's long, especially when you finish in uh, April. It's not going to be long not here. Not going to be long here, me. and I'm excited <laughs> for that. Um, but, nah, man, I'm, I'm really excited. Just different culture, you know, winning culture. And you can just feel it, you know, through practice the little practice that we've had. Um, it's a different vibe, and it's something that I respect, you know, for all the guys that have been here and um, are doing everything it takes to, to again, have a, a longer season. This is the first time that you've been on a roster that is primed to win a championship. For sure. Right? This guy over here, he knows all about winning a championship and playing in that kind of role off of the stars. Eddie, what would you tell O'Shea that he needs to bring into camp from a mindset perspective, from an on-the-court perspective of how to excel around these great players? Well, 
think the most important thing is to talk to the coach and find out what he wants you to do, sure. right? And then be a star in that role, yeah. whatever it is. You know, it might be 18 minutes one game. Well, I'll say I'll speak for myself. It might be 18 minutes some games. It might be 28 minutes some games. It might be only 12 minutes some games. But in those minutes, make them meaningful, make them count, for sure. and just find out what it, exactly it is that they want from you. And then now you know, yeah. as opposed to trying to figure out and you think you got to do this, but that's not really what they need from no. you. They need something else. So find out, get your role carved out, define your role, and be a star in that role. For sure. I'm actually really interested to know what, what you know about what that role is going to be because I think a lot of people, I know you, I know all about your game. I'm a Syracuse guy. Yeah. I know your game. Let's go. Let's go Cuse. Oh yes, sir. Uh, go but you, you came into the league as more of a wing, playing a lot of three. Slowly you've shifted over. You spent, I, I believe it's calculated, 92% of your minutes last year were at power forward. Mm -hmm. What do you expect to be your role on this team? Is it going to be four? Is it going to be three? What do you expect? Uh, honestly, I feel like I could be put anywhere. You know, um, you know, look at the guys that we have out there. We're all we could play really big. We could play, you know, some big, like two bigs. We could play one, um, and then I feel like with that, I would end up at the four. If we play two, I'd end up at the three. Um, but again, you know, talking to coach and figuring out what that role is, you know, offensively, it doesn't matter where I am. I feel like I'll be able to fit in whatever it is. Um, you know, and it's just for me, I, honestly, I feel it's going to be bringing energy offensively and defensively, whether it's coming off the bench, whether it's starting some games, whatever it is, being that energy guy to kind of flip the game around if we're having a little low, if we're having, you know, some slow starts um, coming in with that second unit and just bringing the energy for real. Being on a team that has a championship opportunity, right, yeah. a championship caliber team, but coming from somewhere that did Tell, talk about the difference. A lot of people don't understand it. There's a culturally there is difference, and people talk about it. But you feel it. You yeah. understand it, and it's from the top to the bottom. The ball boys to the equipment guys. Everybody has a sense of this is how we get down over here. Talk about the difference from coming from a team that's a non-contender to a t contender. Well, you know, I've only been here really two weeks, but. And no, no shade on nobody else. No, no, for sure, yeah, for yeah, sure. You know, uh, you know, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown have been here working out. They don't have to be here right now. You know, they could come. They could have been here today. They could have just got here today and started camp tomorrow. Obviously, those are, you know, our all-stars. They don't have to be here. Al Horford, year 17, he's here working out, playing with all the guys who are coming in and the young guys. So that in itself shows, all right, we're really trying to build some, you know, togetherness and a winning culture because we're getting after it. Um, beforehand and again it's not just the guys who quote unquote have to be here it's the guys who are going to play 30 40 everybody. minutes a game you know what i'm saying it's everybody and mm -hmm. it's a full team and we're all here um, learning each other because we all know that goes a long way how does seeing that motivate you even more as a player knowing yeah. that the, the vets are in it a whole bunch a whole bunch it shows that you know we're they're willing and ready to go to war and if we're not going to follow suit, the guys come in, the young guys, then there's no place for us on the team. And I think that we've all shown that being there and playing and really competing at a level that's going to take us uh, where we want to be throughout the season. Continuing on that conversation you guys were having about kind of like figuring out what that role is. One of the small that we haven't talked about this at all today, but in losing Rob Williams, one of the best screen setters on the team, right? You want to know how to become a, a great friend of Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum is <laughs> set great screens. Set great screens, yeah. What's your background in that perspective? Because I've watched some film on you. You've got some background in setting veer screens and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what's the baseline of what you try to accomplish when you're setting screens out there to free guys up? Knock them, hit them, <laughs> get them. <laughs> Got to be you know? physical. Yeah, and it's like, again, nothing, nothing malicious or nasty, but being there at the right time, you know, it's, good. it's still, I'm going to have to learn, you know, JT and, and Jalen Brown when they have the ball and what they like to do. But at the end of the day, if I'm going to set a screen, I'm going to make sure. Because it, it's going to free them, but my guy's going to go because those are all stars. I'm going to roll and be wide open, you know, if I set the right screen and, and do it correctly. And it the right like screen is it. also the right angle, for sure. making sure you have the right angle. To, if you don't want them to go over the top, for sure. you're trying to force them to go under, there's certain ways you could, there's certain ways you could set screens. So, I mean, he understands and he was hitting it right there. Yeah, for sure. And for everyone who hasn't watched a lot of O'Shea Brissett, this man is stronger than he looks, too. <laughs> I mean, he is. I mean, you've played some minutes at center in yeah. your NBA career. So sure. we're, we're looking forward to it. I'm really excited, man. I can't wait. I can't Swiss wait. Swiss Army knife. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love me. it. Throw me in there. I'll do it. And Cuse. Go Cuse. <laughs>
Go have, you Q's this year. Matt, have you caught up with Matt Reynolds yet on Syracuse? I have not. Okay, you got to do that. I have not. He's, a, he's the other Syracuse guy yeah, on staff. Yeah. So. Okay. Love it. All right, O'Shea, we appreciate the time. Appreciate man. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Good if you luck, need man. any more questions asked to us, okay. feel free to come back. All right, I will. I will. Right, Thank man. you guys. All right, appreciate that.